Hey guys, this is X Fox here, and this is gonna be all orcs must die, the baths level. Now you can see my technique. Basically, I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff right there at the beginning of the, uh, sort of right there at the beginning of the actual level, or right as they come outside that gate. I I want to do as much damage as I possibly can on these guys right when they come out the gate. So, you know, I know some people will be out there thinking, okay, well, what's gonna be his technique? Well, my technique, unfortunately, on this really wasn't much because this is actually my only fourth time playing this game. Um, I was having a ton of fun with it, still learning a lot of the traps and, and you know how everything works. So here again, um, this is just my strategy that I use to uh, to beat it. So hopefully this will give again you guys a good idea of uh, you know some of the techniques you guys can use. You know, give you a preemptive uh, idea of what's going to happen here. So here again, I'm going to go ahead and I, I really again didn't have a great base uh, initial base setup. So I actually throw myself in the water on accident. I fell right in it. So here I couldn't figure out exactly where to go or what's going on. So I said, okay, uh, let's just go where towards the red dots are because it's going to start that uh, basically the initial wave again. So here I couldn't place another spike strip. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, yeah, try to you know try to get as many shots as I can here off on these guys. And I know I'm a little too far away really to make it effective. So here I'm going to try the technique that I always use and put a bunch of those spike strips up, uh, are those wall spears. But you can see a couple of these guys just run through because the wall spears unfortunately take a little while to uh, to reload there. But they are quite effective when they do reload. You can see I really didn't care about one or two guys getting past, but you know four or five guys getting past, okay then we might then we might have had a problem. So here, I'm thinking, okay, perfect, I got another one for these spike strips, I'm just going to go ahead and set it up. Usually four or five of those are pretty well with some tar in the middle um, to slow them down so they have enough time to recharge over and over again. Um, so the spike strips again are important, but they're not as important as putting the tar strips down. So here I'm going to try again to get right up in their face and uh, you know do as much damage as I can and kill a bunch of these guys as I can, slowly fade back as I can. So here I can see some of them are already behind me. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and post another one of these spike strips on the wall. And again, try to do as much damage as I can before they come to my spike strips. Because again, my spike strips take so long to reload that, uh, that sometimes it's a little tough. And I, so I try to stun them also as they're actually right in the middle of the spike strips. I want to try and stun their guy um, to again give my uh, spear walls enough time to reload. So perfect, you can see my guy was super low on health right there. So here what I'm going to go ahead and do is, this is the first time that I've used these, is uh, I wanted to go ahead and use these, uh, uh, I think whatever they call them, the turrets. So, you know, I figured, okay, let's try a few of these turrets. Uh, I'm short about uh, 28 bucks or 27 bucks right there or whatever. So hopefully, you know, this will be uh, good enough to uh, stop these guys. So I'm going to throw down some of these uh, tar pits to slow them down. And here we go again. So here again, same technique. I'm going to go right up in their face, try to do as much damage to these guys as I can initially as they come out the door. And then, of course, when they overrun me, I'm going to basically going to fall back to my old uh, old technique here. So here we go. The turrets, you know, spiking them up. And the turret is not doing that bad, especially with the, with the, uh, with the spear walls there. So here I'm going to go ahead and uh, cast another one up there again to make that a very difficult place to, uh, to get past. You can see that the, the, the uh, spear walls are wor definitely working great with the turrets, but the turrets unfortunately have a very slow, uh, they have a very slow recharge rate, but as many as you guys know, you guys get that uh, that buff where it charges the uh, charges the rate up, or they recharge a lot quicker. So there you can yeah, see I did a very nice stun on those guys. I wanted to stun them again right in the middle there so they can go ahead and uh, get hit by the recharge rate on those things. So 
So they're going to place another one of those turrets, again, making this almost impossible for these guys to pass. But you'll see when they start sending the big bulks of people, it's actually pretty easy for them to pass because they're just there's just so many of them. So here again, just pushing that door, keep firing at that door, trying to get a lot of these guys down as much as I can initially. But I notice I'm getting a tad low here because they got a lot of those archer guys there. So here I tried playing it safe and just, you know, strafing all over the place here. But perfect. I was able to pass that section right there um, where they sort of sent all those archers. So this is where they actually do a nice mixture and they send actually a bunch of archers as well as a bunch of orcs. So here, same technique. I know I'm super close to that, super low on health, but I'm just going to continue to uh, to get right in their face and strafe a bunch here. I think one more hit and I'm going to be pretty much toast. So there it is. I actually led myself into that. So. So I'm going to go ahead and start my life back over. I'm going to go ahead and uh, run right back out there to get to get into it because I know at least that uh, wall section will stop a bunch of them now, with, now that I have three turrets there. So I'm going to go ahead and place another one. And I should have placed more tar pit traps, but I think four turrets right there as well as the four spears are pretty much going to decimate a lot of the guys that come through here. And this is going to be the final wave, so they do send quite a bit of quite a, quite a bit of people right there. But you can see about two or three of them make it out of there, but unfortunately, I was easily enough to beat them. So that's how I was able to beat uh, the baths on this level. Hopefully, this guide helped you guys out. Definitely check out my other videos. I got a ton of video game stuff. I post stuff constantly. Please go ahead and subscribe. And thanks again for watching.